Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in LA YouTube channel. Today is May 11th, 2021. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about orange tree fruit drop. Also, I'm going to talk about how to prevent your orange tree from dropping premature fruits. Stay tuned. During the springtime, it is pretty common for some fruit trees to drop immature fruits. This physiological phenomenon is called May fruit drop or June fruit drop. May fruit drop or June fruit drop is a natural tendency for fruit trees to drop some premature unhealthy fruits so they can protect healthy fruits. Currently, I have two orange trees in the containers. This one is smaller, the other one is bigger. Both orange trees came from exact the same parent orange tree, which is grown in our complex. In 2019, I aired two branches from parent orange tree. Last year, in March 2020, I cut off and transplanted two branches into the containers. Last year, both orange trees in the containers produce a lot of flowers and small fruits. Unfortunately, this small orange tree, all the fruits dropped. I didn't get any oranges. Only the large orange tree, I got a hugest orange. In January this year, I reported two orange trees to the big containers. So first, let's take a look at this small orange tree. As you can see here, this small orange tree is pretty healthy. You see, all the leaves stuck green. Actually, early this year, it produced a lot of flowers and gave some small fruits. So let's check out right here. You see here, one, two, three, four, four small orange. And check out right here, one, two, three, four, another four oranges. And right here, you can see, there's one right here, it's dark green. And, uh, and right here, there's another one. At the tip of this small branch, you can see three other small oranges. But unfortunately, just recently, I found this orange tree dropped some small oranges. I collect all these dropped oranges right here. You can see they are still pretty green. But unfortunately, this orange tree dropped so about uh, yeah, about eight small oranges. So far, this orange tree has dropped eight oranges, but it is still bare 13 oranges. As I mentioned to you, this orange tree is pretty healthy right now. So I think right now this orange tree is a little bit overbearing. The dropped fruits is caused by May fruit drop. It is pretty natural. Some people recommend it. If you really want to prevent fruit drop, you can thin fruits. That means you just pick some unhealthy, immature fruits from fruit trees. But right now, all the small oranges look very healthy. It's really hard for me to choose which one I should remove. So I would rather wait, let the small orange tree to make the decision. So now let's take a look at this big orange tree. This big orange tree is in a five or six gallon size container. Early this year, after I reported this orange tree to this container, this orange tree kind of encountered some problem. I'm not sure exactly, maybe transplant shock, because this orange tree dropped a lot of leaves and some small branches at the tip of big branches began to die. At the beginning, I had thought this is caused by potting soil. But as you know, I reported these two oranges at the same time, that small orange does not have problem. So I don't think this is caused by potting soil. So later, I just control the watering and apply some fertilizers. Then gradually, 
this orange tree recovered but still you can see not so many leaves on this orange tree so right now you can see this orange tree produced some fruits check out right here some fruits is smaller some still a little bit bigger you can see right here on the top so far this orange tree still keep 20 to 30 oranges on this orange tree i think right now it is a little bit overbearing as you can see here just recently a couple of days ago it dropped some small oranges based on the website some people recommend it better live at least four or five inches away between each fruit. So that means you have to sing your fruits. But actually, it is really hard for me to choose which one I should remove it or which one I should keep it. So guys, if you have found your fruit tree is dropping premature fruits, you might think about the following several reasons. Reason 1. Your fruit tree is infected with pests or disease. You can simply check the leaves or stems to see whether there are some insectors or your leaves or stems infected with bacteria or fungus. Just as I mentioned, my citrus tree looks very healthy, so I can exclude the possibility of pests or disease. Reason number two, watering. It doesn't matter, and overwatering or overwatering. Either way, it's not good for your fruit tree. Overwatering can cause not good wear drainage. It can cause root rotted. And watering, it can cause your leaf curvy to reduce water evaporation. Reason number three, sunlight. As you know, citrus tree really really like full sun at least eight hours per day especially during the flowering and the fruitering reason number four fertilizers fertilizers are very important for your fruit tree especially when your fruit tree is flowering or fruitering later i'm going to talk about a little bit more about fertilizers i have used for my citrus trees reason number five overbearing when your fruit tree is bearing too many fruits, it is pretty natural your fruit tree is going to shed some premature fruits to protect healthy fruits. So actually, it doesn't matter what kind of reason caused a fruit drop. It means your fruit tree is feeling stress. Hi guys, check out right here. I list some fertilizers I used pretty often for my fruit trees, especially for citrus tree. Actually, all these fertilizers can be divided into three different categories. The first one is slow release fertilizer. The second one is fast acting fertilizer. The third one is foliar spray. So let me give you a little bit more detail about all these fertilizers. So this one, check out this one, is for fruit and citrus. Granular plant food is organic, which can produce more fruit. And check out right here. I think the ratio of NPK is 355. And this is a slow release fertilizer. Apply every four to six weeks. And the second one is shake and fit. I think this is also organic contains a lot of nutrition and check out right here the ratio of NPK is 12 4 8 apply here every three months so definitely this is a slow release fertilizer so the first two fertilizer are slow release fertilizers this fertilizer is all-purpose plant food it is water soluble. It is a fast acting fertilizer, which means feed the plant every seven or 14 days. Let's check the ratio of NPK 
24816 is pretty high. Here I list three items right here. Epsom salt and molar potassium phosphate. These both are pure chemicals. So let's check out Epsom salt. As you know, Epsom salt can provide a good source of magnesium, especially for magnesium deficiency. Actually, Epsom salt is widely used for many different plants. When I use Epsom salt, I always dissolve one tablespoon Epsom salt in one gallon of water and just spray on the leaves of different kind of plants. Also, you can just water the plants. It should be okay. Another pure chemical is monopotassium phosphate. Actually, I use this one a lot for different kinds of plants, especially for flowering and fruiting, because it contains very, very high potassium and phosphorus. For monopotassium phosphate, I just use 0.2% to 0.3% and spray it on the leaves of the plants. Also, you can just water the plant. For citrus nutritional spray, which provides a lot of different nutrition, which can balance the nutrition, it's very, very good for the citrus. So guys, if you like today's video, please subscribe, like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time in my new video.